Okay, why would a business pay $5,000 for an AI, simple AI receptionist that picks up the phone and just schedules people in? Why wouldn't they just hire a human, right? That is a question that I have gotten so many times that if I could count it up, it would be like, maybe, honestly, it would be like two, three hundred times, okay? So I managed to answer it in a quick video right here, okay? So first of all, this is the reason why, okay? It took one of my clients from 22 appointments to 77 appointments. Okay, so how and why? What I'll cover in this video is how it actually helps businesses make three times, three to five times more money every month. Why you're never going to be able to sell it for five thousand dollars because of what you're doing wrong, and why it's better than a human receptionist. And also, I'm going to cover small things like why, uh, a, like business, how much money they're leaving out on the table, etc. Right. So get let's get into it. For those of you who don't know, what I sell is a receptionist that picks up the phone for uh, local businesses and schedules people in for appointments. This is a quick how it works. This is Sophie from Miami Med Spa. Am I speaking with Harun? Yes, you are. Great. You recently showed interest in our cosmetic treatments through a Facebook ad. Is now a good time to chat for a moment? Yeah, I have, I'm on lunch break. I have one minute. Make it quick. Awesome. I'll keep it brief. Uh, what treatments are you most curious about? Botox, fillers, or maybe laser services? Fillers. Great choice. Fillers can really enhance your features. We offer a free consultation to discuss your goals. What it is, it schedules people in. If chances are, if you're watching this video, you already know what I do, right? So it picks up the phone, asks your questions, schedules people into as appointments for local businesses, right? So let's go over this first because there are a lot of people selling just bullshit. You know, a lot of people selling AI agents, you know, a lot of bullshit solutions like this AI agent is actually going to, you know, reply to your emails replying to someone's email is not a big problem that you're solving you're not solving a real problem right what we're solving here is a real problem a lot of people think well, yeah we're just you know giving them an ai caller no what we're doing is this okay so the problem in the market right now which is that local businesses are way too slow with replying back to their leads this causes them to lose out on customers which also caused them to lose out on money, right? And they literally have money coming to them every single day, but they uh, it gets lost due to slow response times, okay? And the best thing is these business owners know this. They know this is a problem. They don't have a solution for it, right? That's why we have created a solution for them, which is selling them an AI rece receptionist that picks up the phone instantly and has the ability to book people in, answer questions, etc. right? Now, what's the issue? Look, this is the issue. Let me draw it out for you, right? So these businesses are getting a lot of leads. They're getting a lot of people coming through like who are, who are interested in whatever they're selling, right? But the problem is it's a long pickup time and a lot of unanswered calls, right? I challenge you, go and call your local plumber right now, your local electrician, your local gym, your local car dealership. Either of them, they're going to pick up or they're going to use a long time to pick up, right? Especially if you're living in a big city, right? If you're living somewhere in US or UK, London, whatever, right? So they're getting these calls in. No one is picking up the calls or picking up too late to the point where they lose the customer, which means they lose out on money, right? Why is that? Because they have a human on the back end picking up these calls and doing what an AI can do, right? And the human, the reason they are not able to pick up the phone and not uh, book as many appointments is because these humans are managing you know, other things, other tasks, such as talking with other people that walk through the door, right? Handling other clients, right? They have a lot of other paperwork and shit like that to do as well, right? So they have a lot of things to do. They cannot pick up the phone as soon as someone calls in, right? It's kind of humanly impossible, right? If you tell that to a human, like, hey, like, you're not picking up all the phone, what they're going to tell you is, yeah, I'm not a robot. You know, I can't pick up all the phone. I'm doing hundreds of, hundreds of other things. Right? That used to be like a saying back in the days, I'm not a robot. But now it's actually scary because there are robots who can replace this receptionist right here, right? So, and this is an arrow by the way. I don't know why it's so ugly, but yeah. Even a study showed this. A study showed, uh, it monitored 85 uh, businesses across 58, indus uh, 58 different industries and found that only 37.8% of inbound calls were answered. Another 37.8% went to voicemail and 24.3% received no response at all. 
That fucking means that they're not even replying to 50% of their calls. 50% of the calls are not even answered. Right? That's crazy. Imagine how much money they're losing out on the table. Or how much money they're actually uh, leaving on the table every month. And for those of you geeks who don't believe it, here's a study. You know, there's always some guy who's like, what is the sources, bro? Here's the sources. Go copy and paste it and read it yourself. Okay, now, another, another study showed that Harvard Business Review, uh, that's, that's who did the study, right? Showed that leads contacted within one minute are 21 times more likely to convert than those contacted after 30 minutes. After just five minutes, conversion chances drop by a whole 400%. That's crazy. These numbers are crazy. And honestly, I wouldn't believe it if someone told me this. But if this is a study, and here is the, you know, the, the source for it, I have to believe it, right? That means if you answer back to your leads within one minute, you have 21, not percent, 21 times more likely chance of turning them into an appointment. So every time someone isn't answering back to their leads within a minute, they're losing out on so many leads, right? Now, enough with the studies. Let me break it down in numbers, how much money they're actually leaving on the table, okay? So let's say, let's take uh, a beauty spa, for example. They're getting 100 calls every month, right? 100, that means they're getting 100 leads. Leads basically means people that are interested and wants to you know, book an appointment or whatever, right? Now, out of 100 leads, remember 37%, we're just gonna do 30, you know, just to you know, sum it up. 30 calls were answered instantly, right? At a 30% conversion rate, they managed to squeeze nine clients out of those 30 calls. And each one, each, if each one of them paid them $400 for, I don't know, Botox treatment, that is $3,600 that business made that month, right? Cool. But 70 of the calls were unanswered or answered too late or sent to voicemail. If they had a solution to answer to those calls at the same 30% conversion rate, they could have gotten 21 more clients, which if each one of them paid them $400 each, they could have made an extra $8,400 that month. That's crazy. They made $3,600. They could have made $12,000 that month. That's literally a fucking 3x of what they could have made if they just answered their call quick enough. They didn't have to do, you know, businesses think they have to do like some hire more employees, you know, spend a lot of money on marketing and all of that. In this case, it's just a simple fix. Answering the phone quicker. That's it. And it can make them three times more money every month. Okay? Now, let's say like a lot of people is like, okay, makes sense. But why don't they hire a human instead? Here is why. A human, right? If there's gonna be a VA, right? Uh, an assistant, right? If they have them on a payroll, they're paying them $18 an hour, right? Because hiring employees is not cheap for businesses nowadays, right? And uh $18 an hour, right? And they were, the, the, the VA is working five hours a day, 20 days a month, right? And even like, okay, I'm gonna get into that later, but okay, five hours a day and 20 days a month, that is $1,800 a month that they're paying to this VA, and not to mention they're gonna be sick, they're gonna have performance issues, they're gonna need breaks, they're gonna complain, they're gonna be, Again, this is this, this is what they're gonna be. This is gonna be they're gonna be busy with other shit as well. So even if they have a human, the human won't be able to answer to all of these calls, and they will still lose out on money. Not only that, they're losing out on money, right? But they're also paying more money to someone else that is losing them money. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. So the end result is they're paying $40 to $80 to book one appointment. And there's a lot of going back and forward. And still this VA is missing a lot of calls. Okay? Now, versus an AI caller. What is the cost of an AI caller? Let's first of all, the AI caller will answer like this. Like this. It's AI. It's a robot. Right? It, will, it can handle multiple calls at once. It's going to answer like this. Okay? Uh, it's gonna be cheaper, it's not gonna complain, right? And 
then they're going to pay one time fee, right? I charge $5,000 up front, right? And a lot of people are going, oh, that's too much money. That's too much money. First of all, it's converting them more leads into appointments. So they're making more money. And also, if, if, if they pay $1,800 to, for two months, they already paid 4K, right? And they're going to have to pay this every month. So this is cheaper than a human, faster than a human, and can make more money than a human, right? What they pay for is talk time. After the one-time fee, they pay for talk time, which is $0.12 uh, per minute. And not to mention no complaining, no issues, no holidays, no managing it, no you know arguing with it, nothing like that. So let's say if someone calls them and it talks to them for five minutes on the phone and it books them one appointment, that appointment costs them $0.6 to book one appointment. You know how they, cr I don't know how much you studied businesses, uh, but that is crazy. $0.6 per booked appointment. That's crazy. And also no going back and forward. That is why they would pay 5K for this. Okay. Now the reason you're not able to sell it for $5,000 is because you don't present it in this way. Okay. This is the exact way you need to present it in. Right? What you're doing is what I was doing in the beginning and that was getting me no clients. I was focusing on the AI features. Okay, I was focusing on like, I was telling, I was hopping all these calls and I was like, yeah, you know, the AI, it, it sounds like this, you know, you can choose from 50 different voices. We have the voice of this woman, old woman, you know, young woman, man, uh, fucking transgender, whatever, right? <laughs> I was focusing on how it sounds, different voices, what type of calendars in the integrate with all the different features, right? That doesn't sell. I know you think maybe it sells, but it doesn't sell because business owners don't give a shit about what the AI can do and how the AI works. What they do care about is how we can make them more money because business owners are in business to make money, not to understand complicated shit. They don't care. They don't have already have enough stress, right? The reason they're going to buy your solution is so it can take stress away from them. But you're not even, you're not even presenting, it, uh, presenting it in that way. You're just giving them more stress by saying all these different, like, complicated shit, right? What you need to do is you need to sell the clear, specific money or time benefits, right? Because that is what business owners care about, money and time. Making more money and saving more time. Right? So you need to break it down in numbers how much more money you can make them. Right? You need to compare it against a real human VA. Right? You need to call out their current problem, which is you have a VA which is losing you money because they're not replying to all of your leads. Right? You have to show them real results of actual clients if you have it. Right? You have to back it up with studies and confirming that slow lead responses kills conversion, just like I showed you. Right? All these studies that I showed you. Right, and some other stuff that is not important. So that, that important that is just bonus, right? Branding instead of just calling an AI receptionist. So for example, instead of just calling an AI receptionist, all I call mine Sophie and I'll give him like a persona. I'm like, Sophie calls, like, you can hire Sophie, Sophie applies to all your leads and et cetera and et cetera, right? You need to see it from a different business owner's perspective, right? Business owners don't give a fuck about automations and how things are set up. What they do care about is money. They want money and that's exactly what you sell them, right? There's a saying which says like, give Susie what Susie wants for lunch. If Susie wants steak for lunch, you don't give her a salad. That's what you're doing right now by selling the AI features. The, the, the business owners doesn't care about the AI feature, right? I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> the business owner doesn't give a shit about the AI features. What they do care about is how we can make them more money. And that's exactly what you're going to sell them. You have to tell them what they want to hear, right? So to sum it up, the reason businesses would pay $2,000 to $5,000 for this is because it makes them two to five times more money every month. It saves them time, it saves them stress, and it increases their profit margins. That is exactly why this sells for $5,000 a month. I wish you, I hope... I hope you understand it now, okay? And by the way, if you're looking to start this business model, I am doing one-to-one -one coaching where I'm taking my clients and I'm literally walking them from scratch on how to pick a market, building it, marketing it, fulfilling clients, taking payments, onboarding clients, literally everything from A to Z. I'm covering everything and I'm helping my clients, holding their hands, 
helping them get their first couple of clients. If you're interested in that, I do have limited spots in it, but if spots are open, you can go down uh, in the link, book a call with me, and if you're the right fit, we can maybe you maybe get you on board it, and I can show you how everything works, and you can start making money selling AI employees as well and join the AI revolution.